Jura kicks off for Souths. And Folks was about to have first touch. It'll be Nissen. And he brings it out about 10 metres, 8 metres from his own line. He's working it through the forwards. Ackery. Thompson, the dummy half. Tunks. In recent weeks, he started to find some good form. Barwick with the kick. Didn't quite get it the way he wanted. It bounces away from Jura. And he's wrapped up by Corcoran with plenty of support from his forwards. Harrington. Big charging run from this winger. Lions. And the young members of the South Sydney pack who's had a terrific season. Mix up in the play, the ball. Who wants it? Well, South will get a penalty. A little bit of wrestling. Tempers just starting to fray somewhat. Yeah, well, the penalty goes... Uh... Well, it, it should go against the Canterbury Bankstown side here because there's, well, there's one of them also falling the ball in the ruck, so that's uh, the uh, whammy. He's got the double whammy there. Just yes, having a look at the lower grades just before this game gets really exciting. Under 21, South Sydney 32, Canterbury 8. Reserve grade, Canterbury 26, South Sydney 22. A cliffhanger that one. Now, Harrington again. Coleman urging him to his feet. Johnston. Just outside Canterbury's quarter line. Still a bit of feeling in the match. Johnson and Farrer exchange a couple of blows. Now Ackery separates them. We stay with the football. Fennick turns in a tackle, finds Coleman. Good quick hands for Boyle. He pushes it out the back for Jura. Now they've gone inside the quarter. Boyle pushes one player out of the road. Penalty against Canterbury inside the five. Coleman threatens with a quick tap. But I think he was only furling. You'll find the goalpost right behind Neil Armand. And they'll go for the two points. And as Bronco Jura just sets himself here, our best wishes to the Bear and Maurice, who's recovering from a major knee operation. I know you're looking on, Bear, and we're looking forward to having you back for all the big matches. Speedy recovery. Jura. He's got the two. South Draw Force, first blood. They lead by two points to nil. Canterbury now. Nissen. Straight and nearly through a gap. Lamb. Penalty against South Sydney inside the five. Canterbury will get a chance at two points. South Sydney, their defensive record tells it all in 89. They've scored 61 tries, just 29 against them. Quite a performance. And Barwick, who is one of the biggest kickers in the game, this young man. Yes, he may be a big kicker, and uh, I can't see any real reason for not using Terry Lamb, who's one of the most accurate going around. He scored something like 80-something points, 83 or 4 points already for uh, Canterbury this year. Let's see how accurate this man is. With his first, he's got it. He didn't meet it all that well, but the score is 2 old South and Canterbury. Canterbury nearly coming up with a scrum win against the feed there. Referee wants it back. South, great position here on the field to attack. Jura. Good defence from Langmack. Well, he bounced out of the tackle. Folks came again to put him to ground. Right in midfield. Souths. Andrews. Fennick. Running freely. Unloaded well for Coleman. Roberts. Had an overlap there for a minute. Lyons goes blindside. Running strongly two metres away. It was a good run up the blind side there. They seem to take an age to get to him. Quick hands out for Jura. Great ball. He 
read that superbly to link up. Good football from South. They cut out the man superbly to put Jura right under the post. Yes, yeah, a classic try, this one. Coleman, long pass, cuts out uh, an interloper there and gets the ball straight to Jira. Jira just moved beautifully into action there. Watch it again from head on, you'll see the cutout pass. And there goes Jira running straight into a gap. The Canterbury player knows that he's made a blunder by going up. You'll see probably on the left here, he's uh, straight away puts his head right down. Oh, that's a good try. That's a real deception try and one that really counts. A good one. Bronco Jura. The warehouse supervisor in the summer months. You can find him with a set of wicket keepers' gloves on. Peter Shamarrival in Sydney. Gillespie with a limp. And Jura converts his own try. South Sydney lead eight points to two. They've had the possession for a set of six. They've just kicked downfield. As Farrow now goes blindside. And quickly to his feet. No marker. He's running out of support. Nobody got with him. There's a change, Bill. Glenn Haggath in 11 to replace David Gillespie. Gillespie left the field with an ankle injury, Graham, but nothing that'll keep him out of his next match. <laughs> it's quite a wait for David Gillespie. Folks, standing wide. Langmack had his mind on other things for some reason there. Yes, a very out of character effort here. Uh, folks really wasn't even looking at the ball. Uh, Langmack, I'm sorry, wasn't even looking at the ball. The ball came to him low. He appeared to still be watching the opposition come towards him. Coleman. Well, he went to pass that ball, all he did was throw it into the backside of Andrews, picked up by Langmack. This time the hands were fine. Canterbury, well and truly on the attack now as Haggath gets up quickly. He broke from the scrum to support his men. White takes the big step. Fenix there to drag him down just a metre away. They've got numbers on the right if they can get it wide. Somebody should end up in the sin bin. Well, well, that's well and truly a professional foul. Yeah, Mario Fennec there used all his uh, very long experience to hold White down until all the defence was in uh, the uh, position. You can see the elbow on top of the back. That's all forcing down about 12 or 13 stone down on top of him. And uh, it really should quite definitely, quite definitely should have been in the sin bin. And Barwick from right next to the post. They bridge the gap a little. South Sydney 8, Canterbury 4 now. Blindside Fennec. Back for Sidaris. Fennec is a freak the way he can get rid of the football in almost every circumstance. He's uh, one of the very, very good players that can do that. Coleman. A bit of a brawl in back play. The touch judge will come in for a report on that one now. Bill, that happened right in front of you. Yeah, I think Mario Fennec resented the uh, resented the tackle, Graham. There was something about an eye gouge, actually. He went for his eye. Now, I'm not going to say that at this point in time, but he, he certainly went for the eye at one point. And, uh, you know, a couple of players were involved. Langmack was one, Jamie Cork, and another one, and Peter Tunks was there also. So quite a lengthy report coming in from the touch judge, Ackery. <laughs> Can't quite believe it. <laughs> <coughs> Time off, says Neil Armand. It's quite a lengthy chat to the referee. Still not pleased. That'll be Jura from about 33 metres out. 100% so far. In fact, he scored all the points with a fine try right under the black dot. Coming back around for Jura, around enough, Beautiful. it sure does. Beautiful kick from Jura. South Sydney 10, Canterbury 4. Fennec. The Coleman, Neville. Just opened up for him. Roberts. Didn't have anybody on his right shoulder. Sidaris. A day. 
Steps back inside. There's the try line for you. Five metres away for Souths. Coleman. Fennick. Penalty's gone against Canterbury. Well, this will be for pulling Fennick away from the ball as he attempted to play it. That's the uh, reason for it. Now, what's the replay? There's Langmack pulling him down. I have no doubt in the wide world that uh, Mario uh, used the acting job on that one. I think he could have been slapped at a 402 for overacting, but nonetheless, he was pulled off balance by Langmack. So Jura with yet another attempt. There's the angle for him, about 15 in from touch. Just a short run up for Jura. But plenty of timing. The timing's sweet. South Sydney 12, Canterbury 4. So what's the message from the bench on Fennec, Bill? I've well, spoken to the trainer, Graham. Good news for South Sydney at this point. Same thumb, but not broken. Well, I remember when he did it, the match we were covering, Mario told everyone it was all right on that occasion, too. <laughs> I don't know how he could be so uh, confident that it's not broken. Only X-rays could tell that. He must have been clairvoyant, this uh, trainer from South Sydney. Barwick had linked up, but was held as he was trying to recover the football. That is a good call, too. Listen, replay, there he goes. Trying to get surge ahead, but being held and pulled back by the jumper, so the penalty will go to the uh, Canterbury-Bankstown team. They are going to go for goal. Through Barwick to try and set up the possibility of a converted try, tying it all up. About 38 metres out. Strikes it beautifully. Gee. Tremendous goal. He's nearly put that up into the stands. South Sydney 12, Canterbury 6. Against the feed, Lamb. Canterbury with a chance. Intercept by Neville. Barwick's got him. No, he hasn't. Still going, Neville. Ducks under a swinging arm. South Sydney alive now. From one end of the field to the other. Fennick. Outs. Davidson through the dummy when he had Roberts outside. Now Canterbury on their heels. That'll be a penalty. He's calling over. Is it Nissan? Five minutes in the bin. Yes, Nissan, five minutes in the bin. Now here's Davidson. He should have unloaded the football there. He shouldn't have taken the tackle. They had men over. But uh, quite definitely. Now, uh, Nissan got a bit of a kick in the face there, apparently, from the leg of Davidson. Well, it's five minutes in the bin for Nissan, but to be consistent, Fennick was desperately lucky not to end up with the same in the first half. So the club well served by goal kickers. Vital kick, this one. To try and give them that little bit of breathing space. Souths strikes it well. There has been some outstanding goal kicking at the stadium on Nissan's last Friday night. 14 to 6, Souths over Canterbury. You know, they've got to go in a confident football team for the next couple of weeks, don't they? Very tough to beat. But Canterbury are giving them one hell of a game here. Haggath dragged that in well. Langmack. Flicks it inside for Barwick getting involved in the second half. Through the dummy beautifully. Not so well at the finish. Corcoran still going Canterbury. Souths having to call on all their reserves to hold them out. Langmack stepping. Flicks it. Jamie Thompson. Pass away. Folks was clear. He couldn't unload. Lamb. First off the ruck on the last tackle, the kick, shaped a kick. Now he brings Haggath in. 
Hag is only a couple of metres away and dragged down. It'll be the turnover. Good defence. Sedaris, the pace doesn't slacken at all. Got the heavy tackle there from Tux. Harrington. They get 11 metres out. They wanted to finish with a tough one to keep them fit throughout the fortnight's break. Canterbury have certainly dished it up. Yes, no argument about that. This has been a real good workout, first-class workout, and hopefully no uh, major injuries to either side. Roberts can't shake Haggath, but he manages to unload the shot. Now he's going to have support. Can he line up Roberts? He didn't. He didn't even think it. Roberts was there waiting for it. Yes, this is a case of a young man playing his first first grade game as a wing three quarter, first selected game as a wing three quarter, making the break, getting up the sideline, but uh, then forgetting the uh, the name of the game is to keep the ball alive. And that was a bit bad. Barwick, overlap for Canterbury. Agath out for Farrah. Into the clear. Saving tackle from Boyle. Now Langback. Try Canterbury Raymond under the posts. This game is well and truly alive and up for grabs. From some 55, 60 metres away, Canterbury right under the post. Yes, magnificent stuff here. The Nissan replay shows it. We've got Greg Barwick offloading the football there. Out it goes to Farrah. Now, Farrah's been kept in check up to a point, but he gets away beautifully, goes strongly, gets it out to Langmack, and then to the speedy Raymond for the last, uh, shall we say, 18 metres. A very, very good try. Scored in exactly the right position, right underneath the goal post. That's where they need to be scored. Barling gets the pass away. That's Haggath there in the middle of the field. Onto Farrah, changes the direction of attack, uses that big, strong fend of his, drags Boyle with him for about seven or eight metres. Langmack times the pass perfectly to Raymond, and Raymond sprints away, looking behind him over the left shoulder and puts it down right behind the black dot. And Barwick adds two more. South Sydney just 14-12. Welcome back, well and truly on here at the stadium. Canterbury claiming a spear tackle against a South Sydney player. Interesting to see the action of Neil Armand because of recent events. Yes, well, Les Davidson hurls himself in there like a projectile. It's on a Canterbury player, incidentally. Uh, up he goes, over he goes, turned on his back. Uh, well, it started out to be a spear tackle, and only by the grace of God was it not a spear tackle in the last split second. Uh, certainly one to be worried about. I wouldn't... Uh, like to get anyone involved in anything at this stage but that's a pretty nasty one it could have been a very very nasty one if he'd stayed straight on and not folded his head under as you'll see well interesting peter sterling well there's another elbow there and some high stuff going in on fennec how did you call the tackle still up well, as Rex said, it started off looking as though it was going to be a spear tackle. I don't think there was any great intent in it. Les came down with his head bowed, drove the shoulder in and, and just went through with the tackle. Unfortunately, Kyle White, uh, well, I suppose fortunately, he ended up landing on his back. He seems to be OK. He's sitting up now. So uh, I think we may see a penalty, but no further action. Well, I just wonder if there's some action to come. Kyle White just back to his feet. Straightens the back. Neil Armour was strong with both captains about trying to settle this game down. South just can't afford anybody in strife. It's amazing to see uh, Mario Fenix standing in the background now, listening to these <laughs> charges that have been delivered at players of his, uh, of his team and being like the sage, the wise old man, standing there nodding his head very sagely and saying, yes, that's right, that's exactly right, yes, that's, uh, I believe that. It's uh, only a very short time ago that uh, Mario was having all the same things said to him. So the wheel goes full circle. Well, for a moment there, Neil Armand was <laughs> looking the wrong way. He got it right in the finish. And I just wonder, just the two points in it, I wonder if a report was made to the touch judge over the tackle, if we'll hear any more. Raymond. Ackery now. Canterbury putting plenty into this match. Throwing out a warning that they'll be back in 1990. Farrah opens up up the middle. He's having a monumental game, uh, 
in the second half, running beautifully and Touch. powerfully. Just outside the quarter line. Langmack. Bowie couldn't receive the football. Lamb. Throws it at the feet of Raymond. Communication breakdown on the Canterbury side. Harrington. Now Sudaris. Lions. They missed 14 tackles, Canterbury. It was the six. South Sydney. A great defence of theirs this season. Well, he could have got both Canterbury markers for not being directly in front of the man playing the football. Ellison was looking for touch. But an easy one for Raymond. He's got to straighten up shortly. He does. Bounced Paul Roberts out of the way. Nissen. This game going into overdrive. Very quick. And plenty of counter-attack from both sides trying to spread this football. Flick from Tux. Thompson stepping. Stepping well. Lamb. Quite a juggling performance. Farrah. Tunks leads them down the blind back inside for Nissen last tackle will they run or kick man Langmack I should say is going to put it way up for Ellison Barwick flew high Ellison was interfered with says Neil Armand now he says knock on well let's have a look at the Nissan replay uh, well very hard to judge from that one very hard to judge from that, but the uh, penalty or the possession goes to the South Sydney side. So obviously the, uh, the tackle count was up. Sidaris. Lamb and Langmack are trying to lift a gear, Billy. They sure are. Canterbury look like they're coming home strong to me from down here near the sideline. And it's Lamb and Langmack, the combination of the half and 5 8 that are doing all the damage. Langmack reading the play, Lamb spearing the ball, and Langmack working two out and finding a lot of holes on the edge of the ruck. This time, Canterbury Bankstown will be well and truly caught for not being in front of the man playing the football. This is a very enthusiastic. You will see Langmack standing to the side there. And he tackles the man, so obviously the penalty has gone for not marking up uh, directly in front. Very enthusiastic Langmack tonight. He's been involved in pretty near everything that Canterbury have done. Allison gets them out to halfway. Darren shot. South Sydney desperate for a try. Sidaris. At the end of play tonight, we'll just be repeating our winner of the Nissan Pulsar Q. Correctly named our top six tries in order. Roberts. Infield it goes. Coleman holds the pass up nicely for Davidson. Harrington, good ball away, taken beautifully by Ellison. Souths have still got it. It was trapped by Boyle on the last tackle. Coleman wants it. The kick, knocked back. Now Nissen. Dean Pay. Tux. Really made the advantage line. He was moving quite freely. Lamb. Farrah. 
Stepping well. He's going to have a ton of support inside now. Lamb. It was a line ball that passed. Will Lamb get there? He will. Canterbury under the post. South Sydney in a heap of trouble. It'll be interesting to look at this pass back uh, on the inside to Lamb from Farrah and uh, get an idea of where the referee was actually standing because it looked slightly forward to me, very ever so slightly. Now here's Farrah, he's busted the defence and he goes upfield. Lamb appeared to be slightly in front of him at that stage, but it's very, very difficult to tell. I wouldn't like to say that was a forward pass. I'd like to call that a line ball. Now here's uh, Lamb again. Out the pass goes to Farrah, straightens with that big spend of his, gets the ball, the action going and then tries to get the pass back on the inside. I think even there, the evidence of the way he gave the ball uh, indicates that it was just about line ball. And Terry Lamb showing all the uh, necessary speed to score. A very, very good try indeed. He might be 27 years of age. He might even be able to cultivate a good garden, but he's still a damn fine footballer. Terry Lamb. Well, he's worked on and grown a fine try here. The first of the uh, weekend's major upsets. It might well be. And Barwick from right in front was very much last year in the last of our Friday nights. It was the other way around who sounds upset Canterbury. The Bulldogs 18 14. Neville. And of course, plenty of Canterbury players out there thinking about Stephen Folks playing his last game for the club after 13 seasons. And three, some 303 matches. Fennick out for Longbottom. It's going to be Longbottom taking on the fullback Barwick. Longbottom steps in field. The cover defence just gets there. It was Lamb. Now, quick play the ball. Coleman. South with a heap of numbers. They must score, surely. Lions died with it. Somehow the defence got there. The dummy. Roberts is going nowhere. Canterbury hanging on and hanging on by a four-point lead. A converted try from South. There's a chance. Lyons gives them a chance and the stadium erupts. Well, the Nissan replay will show the great long arm of this young man come out and score a legitimate try. And he must have a hand like a foot because he was able to keep his, his the extent of his fingers around the top of the football and keep it under control. Now just watch this as we try just to slow it down slightly. Here he goes through the tackle and over she goes. His hand is big enough to hold the football on top. Pick it up from the ground on top. Now that's extraordinary. I'm a fairly large man, my fingers aren't that big, so I couldn't do what he just did. That's an extraordinary thing. Langmack cramping up. Ellison from wide out. Is it going to be successful? Wide of the mark. Canterbury and South Sydney at the stadium locked together. 18 all. We've got about 50 seconds to go. Andrews. It's, it's not a loss. Davidson just manages to drag it back in. Coleman. Boyle. Canterbury trying to pin them down, hoping for a mistake. Davidson again. They're nearly 40 out. Quick tap. Play it straight ahead. Is there time? Coleman. Coleman again, doubling around. Back it comes. Neville. Away for Longbottom. He kicks oh. ahead. He got knocked down by Farrah. And Kyle White's taken out over touch. South will have to scrum feed if there is enough seconds left on the clock. It was a magnificent tackle by Farrah. Chest high, no suggestion of swinging arms. It was just a magnificent crunching tackle. Now, 
Coleman, Jura and Ellison have been their field goal kickers this year. Jura's off the field. Ellison's there, so's Coleman. Long pass. O'Day breaks the tackle. This might be it. Shot inside the corner, still going. Time must just about be up. There it is. The match is over. It's a draw. A sensational climax to the 89 Premiership for both those two teams. 18 all South Sydney and Canterbury.